Connect the red clamp to the positive terminal and the black clamp to the negative terminal. Rock the clamps back and forth to ensure a positive connection. If the clamps are reversed, the analyzer will display an error message. The EXP800 draws power from the battery being tested, and it will turn on once the cables are connected. Select the language you would like to use. When using the analyzer for the first time, select Unregistered User. Select the Battery Test icon in the main menu and press the Select Soft key. Next, you will be prompted for the battery date code. The date code can usually be found on the battery label. Using the arrow keys, enter the date code into the analyzer. If the battery doesn't have a date code, press the Next Soft key to skip this step. Determine the location of the battery by selecting Out of Vehicle or In Vehicle. Next, select the battery post type. Top post, side post, jump start post. Top post batteries are commonly found in most automobiles. Side post batteries were extensively used in vehicles built by General Motors. Jump start posts are used for jump starting vehicles with batteries that are mounted in difficult to reach areas. Now you are prompted to select the type of battery you are testing. In addition to testing lead-acid car batteries, the EXP800 can also test AGM absorbed glass mat batteries, marine starting batteries, this does not include trolling motor batteries, motorcycle batteries, and lawn and garden batteries. For motorcycle batteries, the analyzer asks for the battery part number. The battery rating units are usually located on the label. For other battery types, you will be asked to select the battery's rating units. These options include cold cranking amps, CCA, cranking amps, CA, marine cranking amps, MCA, Japanese Industrial Standard, JIS, Deutsche Industrie Norm, DIN, SAE, which is the European labeling of CCA, International Electrotechnical Commission IECA and Europa Norm EN. This information is usually printed on the top of the battery. Using the arrow keys, enter the reading number and press the next soft key. The last step is to measure the ambient temperature of the battery. Hold the bottom of the analyzer approximately two inches above the battery case. Once the temperature has stabilized, press the next soft key to continue. The analyzer will now begin to test the battery. During the testing process, the analyzer may display additional messages. This means the analyzer has detected that an electrical load is present, such as an onboard computer, ignition noise, or parasitic drain. The analyzer will automatically retest the battery once the system noise is no longer detected. An unstable battery detected message may appear if the battery being tested is weak or the battery has just been charged. If the battery has been charged, check the clamp connections and confirm that they are secure. A fully charged battery should stabilize quickly. A weak battery should be charged and retested. In some cases, to determine if a battery can be recovered or not, the EXP800 may need to perform a deep scan test. A deep scan can take several minutes to complete. Once the analyzer has finished testing the battery, the results are written to the internal data card as well as printed out using the integrated printer. The battery decision is also displayed through a series of results screens. The first screen displays the battery decision the measured voltage, the measured rating, the selected rating, and approximate battery temperature. The second screen displays a return authorization code for replace decisions. The final screen displays the battery's state of health. State of health represents the measured condition of the battery compared to when the battery was new. A good battery decision means the battery has tested OK and can be returned to service. Good recharge means the battery can be returned to service once it has been fully recharged on a diagnostic charging station. If the battery does not have sufficient voltage for testing, the analyzer displays a charge required decision.
Charge the battery on a diagnostic charger and retest once the charging process is complete. Failure to fully charge the battery before retesting may cause a false reading. A bad battery will result in a replace battery decision. However, it may also mean there is a poor connection between the battery and the vehicle. Thoroughly clean the battery connectors and retest the battery. If a battery has a bad cell or cells, the analyzer will render a bad cell replace decision. Do not attempt to charge a battery with a bad cell. Batteries with bad cells could explode. A marginal decision indicates the battery may fail under extreme climate conditions. A 24-volt decision indicates that a 24-volt battery has been detected.